You yeah, have to make yourself look less inconspicuous. No. No. Oh, my you, gosh. That's no. horrible. We've had that conversation. No, you don't. No, yes. it's not. We just, I'm going look into... Look at you right now. <laughs> what do you I'm, got? I'm is, taking... That the person I'm in so, my so you're... <laughs> Yo, it's Marty and Fernie, and you're listening to the track stars. You in the field with them. Dang. Yeah, back in the field with the track stars. Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. What's good? All right, this episode is sponsored by True Strength Apparel. Make sure you go to www.truestrengthapparel. Check out all the gear. Also sponsored by Rap Reel. Come into the music room January 29th. If you didn't get a chance to participate, come on out and be a part of the actual audience, man. We need you. Come out and support. Come out and support. And then always, man, make sure that you go to www.trackstars.com for all things Trackstars. Follow us on Instagram at Trackstars, Twitter at Trackstars. Make sure you download the podcast each and every Monday. Leave a a review on iTunes. And please join the official Trackstars universe. So much has been going on since we have been uh, away from break and coming back into the new year. We did launch the official Bible study. So you actually have to be a Trackstars Universe member to be invited to that Bible study. And then always, always, always make sure that you are uh, supporting everything we do as far as uh, music downloads, as far as getting the Homie Shantana's album when it drops, Rick Sincere's album when it drops. We just need your support, man. Trackstars can't be made possible without you guys, and we really appreciate what you all do. Um, I, I heard that there's going to be a little freestyle session after the show, the Rap Real show. So make sure you come out to that. All right. I just wanted to point out that thank you guys for actually listening to Ryan Righteous when he says, leave us an iTunes review. We did get some iTunes reviews over the break. Um, uh, McCleskey 100 said, phenomenal. It's a phenomenal show. It's amazing to have voices uh, for Christians who still keep the authentic hip hop feel. These guys are hilarious, honest, and grounded. This show has helped grow my faith as well as introduced me to many talented CHH artists. I'm all in on track stars. Uh, Agape116 said, awesome stuff, really high quality stuff, great discussions, and music is on point. Found them on YouTube and super happy to have the podcast. We also got some from uh, Joe Snot Jose and uh, uh, Lil Silco. Lil Silco said, yo, ever since Ishan Bur- Burgundy did that interview about leaving Humble Beast, I was hooked. Um, I love the show and try to watch you guys live and afterwards. I also appreciate how you guys are able to agree and disagree as brothers and sisters. Like, you give me this feeling of being at home with my family. Uh, I can relate to a lot of what you guys talk about on the show. The shows are never boring. You guys are <laughs> truly making a difference in many people's lives. I hope the peeps with the suits can see that. Anyways, God bless you guys and keep up the great work. Let's go. Yeah. Speaking of people with suits, man, keep praying because we've been having some really high level conversations recently. So uh, just pray that we uh, get some open doors and some favor in certain areas. Um, and yeah, just keep praying. Uh, one one last thing. I honestly don't know what I was doing with my life before I started following Track Stars. It began with watching YouTube videos on Line for Line. Their uh, vision to better CHH is what really got me hooked. I used to think the, uh, that CHH wasn't something to get hyped about, but seeing that these gifted group of people trying to improve in every aspect spoke volumes to me. They are so genuine and passionate about what they do. Besides the awesome music, they have great segments like Noteworthy and Wire, all from different views and all honest. Every single person in it brings character and spice. I will help pray for uh, pray and do some spreading of the word myself so that the mission can continue to grow. Much love and respect from the South East, uh, oh, the southest of South, South Florida. <laughs> Shout out to South Florida. I know, South Florida. Um, all right. This is not a part of the South. Yes, it's not. It's really not. Um, <laughs> but uh, what we want to talk about, this is something we've been mulling over for a while. And the topic is called, I'm seeing how I'm going to tease this out. The topic is called White Jesus. And we were, we were kind of going back and forth. It's a racial show today, I just realized. Um, <laughs> Which is funny because on Periscope is a racial situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We started some. Um, so here's some more stuff. Um, wow. What we I noticed What we noticed was, because uh, the, the topic came up about why is Jesus portrayed as white and this and that. Um, and every culture kind of portrays Jesus that make them look like them. Like black people have you know, black Jesus and uh, Hispanics have like a Hispanic look. I haven't Jesus. seen that. Um, so, but Jesus? mostly it's a white Jesus. Oh, okay. Right? And what's interesting Asian is, Jesus. is as Christians, 
and just the world in general, the people who I think were most racist against, like we we almost all agree, is people from the Middle East. Yeah, that's true. I think middle people from the Middle East get hated on the most in general, and it feels yeah. justified. Everybody feels like, well, yeah, because of bombs, right? <laughs> so I feel like it's interesting that <laughs> Christians that, are that so. Yeah, Christians are so racist against people from the Middle East when our savior <laughs> was from the Middle East. Yeah. yeah. No, Isn't that true. weird that yeah. we portray our yeah, Middle sense. Eastern savior as yeah. anything but Middle East because we don't like people that are that come from that area so much? Isn't that weird? Nobody thinks. That's I mean, <laughs> I think it. I think it kind of makes sense. Like if you think about when Jesus was here, like he was, you know, persecuted for what he stood for, what he was about. And so, like, to say that even now, like, something, you know, like, his race would be something that we would, he would be post-persecuted for, like, doesn't... Yeah, if Jesus showed sad, up, we would, we, would check him, we would check him at TSA harder. Sure like, would. We, it would have depended on what he came check. in. Why it depends on what he was wearing so when he came. I'm just saying. So, so, if Jesus came with a turban, he's getting checked automatically. Hey, bro. Um, I'm asking mess. that question. It's the, a mess. Yeah. The, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this, right? I don't. It's not right. Right, the 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 way we feel. Okay, I know why you say we feel justified. Okay, um, there's a 9/11 situation. There's some other situations where you know some bombs went off, right? Um, and you know a few people got killed, and they seem to have set the whole situation off. Um, so, but it's not all of them, right? It's just a few people. So, for instance, yeah. um, think about it, right? I, I know we get a bad rap as African American people because you know some of us rob people, you know, shoot people, kidnap people, right? Four of us yeah. just kidnap somebody. Why? I, why you don't want me to tell? Derek. So, so, no, no, we just kidding us. Yeah, Not we, but uh, so African American people. So four yeah, African American. Uh, it was Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you say we. Not we, right? But four like... African American people just kidnapped what? this we. this one. Not we, right? But the race, right? Somebody from the, the race. race. Well, no. look. Okay, we're gonna say they bombed us. Then we gotta say we kidnapped somebody. <laughs> no, the other that's day. true. That's yeah. true. Right? I'm You're just right. saying. Yeah. Go ahead. We're gonna say that. We gotta be yeah. fair. You got so, it. <laughs> So four people, African Americans, right, kidnapped the person with mis- mental disabilities, right, oh, and, no. and then held oh, them, and then like you know told them to to say you know bad stuff about Trump and all that kind of stuff. So it it really was nasty. It was horrible, right? And so um, what I'm saying is we we as a race get a bad rap for you know some people who misrepresent the situation. Um, the people from the Middle East they get a bad rap for some people who misrepresent the whole situation, right? Um, and then. I think the disconnect comes when we don't always feel that, you know, the other race gets that type of disconnect, right? <laughs> but I say this about my Jesus, right? Um, I understand that you're saying that, you know, he, he's Middle Eastern. I, it's funny because I've never really seen it portrayed in that way. No, you haven't. Right? And, and, but I do feel like the, the whole white Jesus thing is, is not right. But I don't know what the Middle Eastern Jesus portrayal would look like. So and, and that's, that's my Here's a question. question. What do you say to the people, like, the people who marched in the civil rights movement, the people, our grandparents, our great-grandparents, that are like, Jesus is white, point blank, period, and it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, how would you feel for, for, like, our... I mean, you got to check them on history in the description. I always thought he was white, too, though. Real talk. Um, (laughs) I mean, you grow up thinking that way, but when you get educated in... In, in the gospel, you don't you don't feel that way anymore. No, I'm, I'm just saying, like, just for them, because they, I mean, that that's what they've always seen. They've always seen fake yeah. Jesus, and you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they've seen in their churches, on a on a fan at the church, everything. It's like, okay, that's what it is, what it is, you know? And, and, and they say he didn't have any features that would make you desire. Yeah. I think that was after he got beat. I don't know how legit this is. Yeah, I was going to show an example of what that might look like. But yeah. I, I just it's just interesting that I feel like Christians, I think, and I, I think it played a lot in this election too, but I think Christians feel like it's okay to be racist against Arabs. I just think that's a they're general not, rule. Like, it's racist. okay. When they, when they, when at okay. times... I say Arabs as, and not as just a white whole. Christians, yeah. everybody. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But I think I think because I seen this um, video and the guy was talking about um, something about Muslims and, and he he was a Muslim and he said like people don't attack us because they know we about that life. So I think at the same time, but, but just that just that understanding that if you're Arab, it doesn't mean you're a Muslim. No, no I'm think, not saying that. I think the issue is I think the issue is the culture cultural awareness, right? 
if they yeah. dressed more Americanized, they would not be. Um, yeah, but because but you associate their their natural dress with something evil. Yeah, that's true. Which but it's okay. but it but that's what people tend to to look toward when they see somebody different. Period. Like we can't wear just hoodie. period. What I'm saying is but that it's, it's a higher they, level. They, they catch it, but it doesn't even even if somebody came dressed in African American garb, we would look at them differently because it's not what we see on the street every day. Everybody, you know, American 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 American. Are you talking about African? We all wearing African American <laughs> garments right now. Yeah. Exactly. Hold we, on, let me show you. We look like we wearing African American garments. There you, you go. You talking about African, African American Af- garments? African. I didn't say African American. You said African, you said African, American, 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 American garments. I said African garments. No, you said African American. Okay, we'll, we'll rewind. You slip. Whatever. You slip. It's all anyway, what I'm saying is, if somebody came with African garb, you wouldn't be scared of African American garments. There's a natural, there's a negative reaction to people from the Middle East. I don't know because. Ernest went to India and he had a negative reaction because he was dressed differently than everybody no, else. I was dressed just like everybody else. But that no, you doesn't weren't. mean that. Yeah, that was. That doesn't mean. That's because, probably because he, he had a shade. I, I, wore, I wore a particular outfit to make sure that, you know what I mean, we're all good, right? I mean, they, they but told me. Are, are, we, are we trying to say just because somebody has on um, Middle Eastern type wear that we automatically do that? Because I think everybody gets profiled to but a certain I, What I'm saying is but that they're... they get profiled by almost everybody. Around I the world, really it's almost like everybody agrees that we don't like those people like that. Well, I, I think mean, really even don't. in France, like the women are not allowed to wear their hijabs. Like that—that that was made a law at some point. I don't know if that's been like oh, wow. altered this, at all. But how much did this relate to ISIS? Like how, how much? I think that's it was huge. happening before. ISIS didn't exist when this was. Happening. This was well, I think nine eleven. Right now, big. right now, how much does the the hate towards them have to no, do with ISIS? I think nine eleven. Yeah, I think nine eleven is. I think nine eleven, nine eleven, and Saddam Hussein when in like the Iraq War and all that yeah. other stuff. Like I think it goes back to a lot of stuff. And the thing is, is that media perpetuates these stereotypes at the end of the That's day. That's true. Like you don't really see positive images of like Middle Easterns at all. Like it's very rare. And if you see anything, like one of the shows, um, goodness. What is the name of that show? I can't even remember the name of it right now. But there's one, there's one, like, I believe she's Middle Eastern lead, but the premise of the show starts off as her possibly being a terrorist. Oh, and Quantico. everyone was expected. Yeah, there we go. Quantico. So it's like, even though it there's there's elements of like having a positive lead. She's, yeah, she's Indian. Oh, okay, she's Indian. Yeah, okay. But they play they play, but they play off yeah. of they play yeah. off of that narrative. So it's just, you know, even that is it's horrible. Where, like, where have you seen a positive image? You don't. Yeah. Well, here's my question. Would it matter, like, really, would it matter to you, right, if you did find out Jesus was completely, like, white? He was just completely white. I don't um, matter to me. I, it doesn't I matter mean, to me either. I, 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 it wouldn't bother me one bit. If he you was in real because life. Because you're used to Yeah. That. Well, either no, way. It, no, if he was Middle Eastern, white, yeah. completely black, I, I, either it's, way. It's, it's, just, it's just ironic to me. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That, if he really to me, that the most hated around the world race is from that region and the person we say we love and worship is also from that region i think is there a disconnect there i think maybe god i feel like god is intentional and like maybe he i mean he was born in a manger right yeah. like he was he was marginalized on so many different areas so maybe he knew like maybe that's why he chose to come in that way like you know and I don't know. He's in yeah, I mean, the, the the source of this is obvious: is that people are afraid because there is an there is a uh, antagonistic relationship between Muslims, Jews, and Christians, and it's deadly, right? It has been deadly. Yeah. But if we, like, if I saw every person that looked like Dylan Roof, if I assumed he was going to shoot me, or if every person I, mm. that looked like uh, any other race's bad person. Yeah. Every German I saw, I assumed he was going to start, you know, making concerts. Like, they all that, would like be, that would be wrong, right? To assume that just because a group of people have done it, that all of them that's are true. that. Yeah, that's right. true. We would be outraged if somebody treated us that way. So, so why do we so treat So let, let me ask you a question. So when you and Alfie fly somewhere and you see somebody... In in middle Middle Eastern garments, do you like in your mind like oh that's just hey, it is what it is you don't I, I don't see it I don't you don't care react at all. at all I don't <laughs> yeah <laughs> you react yeah I react you react yeah. oh, I don't right, react no. like oh my god is this gonna be the last time I get on the plane but you it's, think that no it's just you see somebody wearing something different it just catches your attention not different that. If somebody walked on with African garb, or they walked on looking I'm like still a, gonna like, look. be like, like my friend, no, nah, nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you wouldn't, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, <laughs> I, I do, I look at everybody's, you wouldn't flip out, no, you wouldn't try to get out the plane, you wouldn't be scared, 
You wouldn't be scared. No. I wasn't scared. I mean, I we you, wouldn't I que- you wouldn't question it. That's I what I'm saying. I noticed it. I noticed no, it. I will, That's I will say. I will honestly I react. say. I look. I will say honestly say subconsciously I have myself felt those same things. Yeah. But I check myself because I realize it's not right because I realize the same thing happens to the black community as yeah. well as other people and it's not fair. And I recognize that we are being, you know, as minorities um, in America, we are being improperly portrayed consistently throughout media and we're not giving a fair chance. And I don't think anybody stands up for them that way. No, Nobody we don't. Does. But we we're don't. doing a lot of the We stuff, don't really though. stand up for other minorities in general. <laughs> All you really what? hear is black and white. We do a lot when of the stuff that they talk about in the media. Like, it, some of us are doing the stuff. Yeah, but you don't want yeah, somebody to look at you because of that. I don't want them and to. And there's a lot really of us. Don't. There's a lot of us that aren't as but well. But when we've I had this conversation, times, you've got like, to look. Exactly, you have but to make it's yourself, because of the same reason. You have to make yourself look less inconspicuous. No. No. Oh, my you, gosh. That's no. horrible. We've had that conversation. No, you don't. No, yes. it's not. Yes. I'm going look at you right now. <laughs> what do you I'm, got? I'm is, taking it. That's the person. This is my environment. So you're saying that we go out in the green briar, I'm taking this off. So you're saying that every green briar? Why? Why need a green briar? You're saying that. Trey, I don't want to see the description of the guy that get ready to attack. But you know who you sound like? You sound like everybody who said Trayvon Martin shouldn't have been wearing a hoodie. That's ridiculous. I don't say that. And it was like that. I don't say that. Same no, thing. Trayvon Martin was out in the rain wearing a hoodie. But what if he wasn't raining? He couldn't. Have been he wearing. still wear a hoodie. That's fine. All I'm saying is for me, the way I think, but that I make myself is problematic. It's not. You it really is. The point is, you shouldn't have to. I shouldn't exactly. take off my wave it cap if true. I see a police officer pulling up beside to. me. No, it may be true that. Th- no. Why you gotta take off true. your wave cap? It may Let be true. See another day. It may be true that the way that you dress does shape the way people cap. view you, but that doesn't make it right. <laughs> yeah, you, you. I've been pulled over because I had on a wave cap. Before. Ryan, you may yeah. have to do that, no, that but that's not right. Yeah, it's not right. It's not right. I'm not saying it's right. But you know that I'm saying. So we shouldn't do it. But you have to do. You have to. You have to do what you're res- to. responsible. Yeah, no, you don't. You, you have to do what you have to do. I kind of get what you're you saying. You shouldn't have to. I no, you I shouldn't have to. I, kinda, I believe that. So oh, I believe that. So why you would don't you don't have to? Because but I told y'all. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You okay? Every time. <laughs> the walls every are talking. Time, <laughs> every time. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a good place. Trey's been trying to get us to wrap up. All right. You interfere with the track stars: Ryan Reichard, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Lego.